China has quietly built one of the most extraordinary reconnaissance machines of the 21st century. A weapon so fast, so high-flying, and so secretive that even the world's most capable intelligence agencies struggled to understand its mission. It is known simply as the WZ-8, an unmanned, near-space, rocket-powered drone designed to cross hostile airspace at speeds that border on the hypersonic. And yet, despite being revealed to the world in 2019 during China's 70th National Day Parade, almost everything that mattered about the WZ-8 remained hidden behind layers of military secrecy until the leaks began. When a young U.S. Air National Guardsman, Jack Teixeira, exposed a trove of classified intelligence documents on the Discord server, one particular file sent shockwaves through Washington, Taipei, Seoul, and Tokyo. A fresh report from the U.S. National Geospatial Intelligence Agency described something the world had never seen before. China had almost certainly set up its first operational supersonic drone unit. The target was clear, strategic intelligence gathering across the Western Pacific, with Taiwan, South Korea, and Japan directly in its sights. Satellite imagery taken on August 9, 2022, likely from America's National Reconnaissance Office, captured something unusual at an inland military airfield in Anhui Province, under the Eastern Theater Command. The location was Luan Airfield. Analysts zooming in saw two strange aircraft, one WZ-8 resting inside a fortified shelter, the other being towed across the runway. For the first time, the world had undeniable visual confirmation. China's most secret high-speed reconnaissance drone wasn't a concept, a prototype, or a parade prop. It was real. It was operational. And it was already being prepared for missions. The WZ-8 is built by the Aviation Industry Corporation of China, but its true heritage goes further back to the Cold War's most daring reconnaissance programs. The U.S. once experimented with a Mach 3 drone called the Lockheed D-21. It was fast, risky, and decades ahead of its time. China took inspiration from that forgotten American experiment, refining it into something far more advanced, far more survivable, and far more relevant for modern strategic warfare. Unlike conventional UAVs, the WZ-8 cannot take off by itself, it does not taxi, it does not roll down a runway, it is carried into the sky like a parasite aircraft, clamped under the wings of an H-6M bomber. This bomber is the drone's mothership. From its home base at Luan, the H-6 climbs to a classified altitude, accelerates to high speed, and positions itself along a carefully calculated flight path. Only then, when the moment is right, the WZ-8 is released. The instant it separates, its twin rocket engines ignite with a violent burst, propelling the drone upward and outward at a breathtaking acceleration. At maximum performance, the WZ-8 reaches Mach 3 according to US intelligence, but Chinese media claims Mach 6 or even higher. It can climb to 100,000 feet and perhaps 160,000 feet, touching the edges of near space. At such altitudes, it outruns most surface-to-air missiles and flies higher than nearly all interceptors. For a brief moment, it becomes almost untouchable. Its job is to penetrate the most sensitive regions of the battle space. While other aircraft evade radar by flying low, the WZ-8 does the opposite. It flies above the majority of the Earth's atmosphere, looking down with a powerful synthetic aperture radar and electro-optical imaging suite. Its mission window is small, a single scorching pass in and out before enemy radars can react or interceptors can climb high enough to engage it. The US leak identified several Chinese air bases where the WZ-8 might land after completing its mission, including Zhengzhou, Huyan, Fuzhou Ijou, and Dashupuyo. Once mission and landing are complete, 
the bomber and drone regroup and return to Luan for rearming. The entire system is built for rapid strategic reconnaissance, especially against time-sensitive targets. But Taiwan is not the only target. Analysts now believe the WZ-8's most dangerous task may involve hunting American carrier strike groups. Satellites can be blinded or destroyed in wartime. But a drone that launches unexpectedly from within mainland China, climbs into near space and races toward the Pacific, could detect and confirm the position of a moving carrier force in real time. That data could then feed China's anti-ship missile network, DF-21D, DF-26, YJ-12 and YJ-100, and set the stage for a coordinated strike. The WZ-8 is not just another drone. It is a node in China's kill chain, a silent scout that guides the most powerful anti-ship weapons ever built. The WZ-8 represents a technological leap not only for China, but for the entire world. Ever since Russian President Vladimir Putin revealed a new family of hypersonic weapons in 2018, the global conversation around military power has shifted dramatically. Hypersonic missiles, fast, maneuverable, and nearly impossible to intercept, captured headlines in Moscow, Washington, and Beijing. But a hypersonic drone a reusable near-space aircraft designed for reconnaissance at speeds beyond Mach 5? That remained almost science fiction. During the Cold War, the Soviets came closest. Their MiG-25 reconnaissance variants once flew higher and faster than anything the West could counter. The Americans responded with the A-12 and SR-71 Blackbird, machines that push materials science to the edge. But even these legendary aircraft were limited by evolving missile technology. As air defense systems grew deadlier in the 1980s and 1990s, the SR-71 retired. The MiG-25 lost its relevance. Satellites replaced crude reconnaissance planes, and the world quietly accepted that ultra-fast, ultra-high piloted reconnaissance aircraft were relics of the past. Then came China, quietly, methodically, rebuilding what the superpowers abandoned, but without the risk to human pilots. When the WZ-8 appeared on military trucks during the 2019 parade, analysts dismissed it as a future prototype, perhaps decades away from operational use. But China had been investing in hypersonic research for years. Wind tunnels, advanced composites, near-space flight experiments, every field began to converge. Only later did the world understand that the drone was not a concept. It was already deep into testing. Military observers watching satellite images of Chinese experimental air bases occasionally caught glimpses of peculiar shapes under hangars. Some thought they were new ballistic missile gliders, others believed they were mock-ups for aerodynamic trials. But the truth was more ambitious. The aircraft seen was the WZ-8, an operational tool designed for scenarios where satellites become unreliable or are destroyed at the start of a conflict. The high altitude advantage is its secret weapon. At 160,000 feet, as Chinese sources boldly claim, the WZ-8 flies beyond the reach of most radar systems. At Mach 6, even if detected, interception becomes nearly impossible. Western long-range air-to-air missiles like AIM-120 and Meteor cannot catch something traveling at double their speed. Only future interceptors, like the proposed Russian MiG-41, might one day challenge such aircraft. But for now, the WZ-8 enjoys near-total immunity. Its importance goes beyond spying. In modern warfare, intelligence is the first and most decisive shot. If China wants to know the exact position of Taiwan's command centers, radar stations, or missile batteries, the WZ-8 can capture that data in real time. If Beijing wants to track a U.S. base in Guam or Okinawa, this drone can deliver that information without alerting radars early enough to stop it. And if a U.S. carrier group moves into the Philippine Sea, the WZ-8 becomes one of the few platforms capable of tracking it through cloud cover, electronic jamming, or satellite outages. This capability reshapes China's anti-access area denial doctrine. The drone's speed and altitude make it a perfect scout to feed data into the infamous DF-21D and DF-26 anti-ship ballistic missiles. 
the world's first operational weapons designed to kill aircraft carriers. A reconnaissance drone that outruns missile defenses becomes a strategic nightmare for any Navy operating near contested waters. Military experts in Taiwan have analyzed the drone carefully. Chi Li Pin, a senior Taiwanese researcher, believes the WZ-8 is actually not built for missions over Taiwan at all. Instead, he argues, its real purpose lies deeper in the Pacific, watching U.S. military bases, monitoring naval deployments, and extending China's surveillance network thousands of kilometers eastward. Even American analysts agree. This drone threatens not only Taiwan, but South Korea, Japan, India, and Southeast Asia. Anywhere the U.S. operates, the WZ-8 can look. Despite being unmanned, the drone is not autonomous in a traditional sense. It is remotely operated, but for only part of its mission. Most of the flight is pre-programmed, launch, climb, dash, gather intelligence, and glide toward a landing zone. It can't loiter for long, but it doesn't need to. At its speed, even a single pass over a target area produces enough detailed imaging to support missile strikes, battle planning, or early warning intelligence. The airframe itself has sparked curiosity. Sleek, sharp, and almost missile-like, its design shares superficial traits with China's DFZF hypersonic glide vehicle and the American D-21 drone, but its internal architecture is entirely different. Two rocket engines provide raw acceleration, burning fuel rapidly but efficiently enough for a short, intense mission. Chinese scientists claim the drone can reach near space altitudes, around 50 kilometers, where aerodynamic forces change dramatically. At that height, the atmosphere becomes thin, turning flight into a delicate balance of speed, heat, and stability. Only a few nations on Earth possess the materials and computational tools to design aircraft for such environments. China is now one of them. Every mission, according to leaked assessments, ends with the same choreography. After completing its reconnaissance run, the drone glides down toward one of several forward airfields. The mothership bomber follows. Together they refuel, rearm, and then return to their home base. This cycle creates a rapid turnaround reconnaissance system capable of conducting repeated flights even during intense conflict. By 2023, U.S. intelligence confirmed what analysts had suspected. The WZ-8 and its H-6M bombers were fully operational under the Eastern Theater Command Air Force. They were assigned to the 10th Bomber Division, a unit with deep experience in long-range strike missions. The WZ-8 was no longer a prototype. It was ready. And the strategic message was unmistakable. China had fielded the world's first operational near-space supersonic drone.